Spurney and Son of Beast here. Welcome back and we are ready to get this thing for the last game of game two as we're about to be hiding under wide here in Minnesota in part of Target Center. This time the matchup is on. Phoenix Suns and Minnesota Wolves and they're back again to do this one more. As you've seen the last part of a game, the biggest upset of a disappointment in game two is now time series guide for the heat on the box. But this time, this is where it comes happening now. Will the Wolves tie the series up against the Suns? Or will the Suns rally up in the road game win against the Wolves in games one and two? There might be a different time, but you may never know what gets goes here. For the starting groups, you have is Carl Anthony Towns on Kevin Durant, and Grayson Allen on Jaden McDaniels. Bradley Beal, he's on Anthony Edwards. Mike Conley on Devin Booker, and Joseph Nurkic on Rudy Gobert. The next commentators for the last part of the game, I will have his Puma, and he will be standing along with Pinebrush and Lightbo. We'll see you all later for the post game show after this game. Now let's get to it. Enjoy the game, folks. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Hey everyone, it's Boomer, and greetings at Target Center. It is the City Night Edition here in Game 2 of the NBA Playoffs. We're coming to you live as we get this thing underway here. We're rallying up here of the NBA Playoffs on Game 2. This is NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. I'm Boomer, and I'm here with my alongside partner with Paintbrush and, of course, Lightbulb. The one thing we're ready for is going to be Kevin Durant and Carl Anthony Towns. He's ready to get the same rumbled in and get started. You know, I was really curious about that one here because you know that Cat is back. Well, in the first game, he had to suspend that one here, but he looks like he wants to get right into game two. So, he looks like he's ready to get this thing on. So that's a great news here for the Minnesota Wolves. I guess they're ready to do anything. All right now, as the Wolves will be underway and playing against the Suns, and we are ready to get this thing started. Here's the starting group for Bradley Beal. Over with the layup, it's missed off. The starter drive, no good for your pitch. And Edwards will give it off to Conley. Conley swings a pass to Edwards. Edwards swings again to Conley. Conley on his way down, not finding it yet to McDaniels. McDaniels on the two-point range. This one misses the target as Booker will have his first rebound. Allen on his way down, looking for a spin move. In New York, great D by McDaniels. You know, McDaniels never really want to make that one feel like you are all over the place. But the land of the 10,000 lakes, that is a great name on here for the City Court Edition. We really love that. Since you guys already have noticed right now, because they've already made a loss against the Phoenix Suns in Game 1, this was nowhere as in between with Kevin Durant, because he slammed that one down, and he has been like a liftoff to make that score. He's been impressive by right this game. Looking for his next trip, he might be getting it in here too. Layup drive for Beal, no good on the two-point range. You know, to say about Bradley Beal, he's able, able to accomplish with that goal, but that one will even start things off if he gets through. Carl Anthony down, his first bucket, and, and it's Edwards with the assist. Now that's what I'm talking. Cut! What do you got? Here's a range inside, now find Nurkic for the two-pointer. That one misses off the mark. Carl Anthony Towns takes his first rebound, and now we'll have it over again to Gobert. Gobert, swing the pass to Conley. Conley try to watch up on the man in the middle, and Anthony Edwards with it. Give the pass, right back again to Towns. Six on the shot clock. Give it off to McDaniels. McDaniels with the drag inbound, and it's good! McDaniels has his first bucket in. It's now a 4-0 game. Well, they're leading on to a star on this one here because Jaden McDaniels already had that one coming pressure. It's always inboundable, but let's take a chance if he does more. Deal against Edwards. Great team by time as Ed Edwards got that one take over. Gobert's got his first rebound of the night. Now we'll have it over again to Conley. Conley, now give it again to Towns. Towns try to work his way in. Three-pointer for McDaniels. 
rockets in the range outside of Mark, and he hits it off. That's a Wolfpack three-pointer, a 7-0 start. First time I'll call by Phoenix Suns with only 5.26 remaining. Well, they're on a show right now. The Wolfpack has gotten some, a lot of great ones to take. I know they are doing a lot harder than the challenges, but let's face it. They've done that one a best salute to the offensive sign. You know, to say about that one here, Chris Finch is definitely doing really well. All they say for, for one of his uh, top range of his offense has gotten pretty, really good on the start. But I'll say this, that Chris Finch has been really working really hard to get that one over it. It's like a hard one that they are really are making that one to make sure they are in the struggle in the offensive look. And you go over to Frank Vogel's on the head coach on the other side, they're looking for another way to get right into it. Probably they're looking for another basket to release, and sometimes they're going to look for another open offense if they can get there. Here's the status with you as right now we look at Bradley Beal for the season. Phoenix, trail by seven. Booker, try to answer that one in there, makes a back stepper, and it will start things off here for the Suns after a timeout's been released. 7 2 game as Conley has the ball. And McDaniels will have it. Now has it over again to Edwards. Minnesota moving the ball around in between. Big pass off in between. But now McDaniels has it. McDaniels, three for Conley. Good range on the outside. He takes it in there. He has his first three pointer. And McDaniels with the assist. You know, every passing of this angle has to be all for Jaden McDaniels' idea. He has gotten a quick move of it, and he's taking a look over. And he has to look over for this offense. And he said, well, this is what i got to do. i got to look over this. And again, if there is no uh, room to take the open look, they can't let that one leave off the market on their own. They really are working their way through. They've got a great track. Towns now finds again to McDaniels. McDaniels swings the pass again to Towns. Towns, step inside. Two pointer in the range in. Carl Anthony Towns in his second bucket. 12 to 5 score. It's McDaniels with the assist. Booker. On again to Conley. With a drive. Finishes up with a layup in his left hand. It's now a 12 7 game. You know, the fact about Devin Booker, he was really like all into a pursuit. Can't really say when it goes in because it really has to be coming in there to make the right time. And that one has to go for a work on job runs and in between. They really have to make sure to get this one in at the right time. Here's Edwards. Swings it back. Three pointer for Conley. That one goes in in number one. That's six points for Mike Conley. And the whole pack ahead by eight. Now they're really are starting to show him up right now. Mike Conley is getting right back into it. Let's hope he gets more. Anthony Edwards has gone saw Bradley Beal with the score as he makes his first bucket. You know, the range for Bradley Beal has already been plugging it out. After playing with the Washington Wizards, he's definitely are saying this. But all I say is now is that Kevin Durant and I are really are into a tight runs to take. It's not what they always do to keep on scoring. But this is not what I always think of if they get there through. And he's Booker. He's on Mike Conley. Trying to shuffle around again. That two-pointer misses again. Rudy Gobert has an arrow with his rebound. Off to McDaniels with the finish and drive bucket one. Sharon Allen with his first personal. And her first team fouls appear for Phoenix. Well, that one is how you drive things off. That's where you finish things off to get a good look. That's when it comes in to make the start of it. Four players are checked out. Four players checked in. Jordan, Akoji, and other two players are checking in. The Wolves are making new changes. That's Alexander Walker, Reed, McLaughlin, and Anderson are checked in with one shot to go for McDaniels. Misses the throw, and that will rebound a year by Borsoni. Here comes Gordon with the attack. Oh, he got a piece of it! But this time, Gordon takes a layup again. Alexander Walker has his first rejection of the game, and I was saw that this was not always an easier way. You can never just spot it on if you're going to take it from here. And it's just in, now finding him to McDaniels. McDaniels drives me across to Reed. Reed with a back step. That first bucket for Reed doesn't go in. Well, it's hard enough to go with the bucket, and this is now when it goes in there. They've really got to make sure they got to go in there. 
and try that again from the top. The block on feeling around a little bit. We're now at the two minute mark in the first period. McDaniels, right to a corner over a coach, and it's good. McDaniels has 11 points, and it goes up with with Conklin, with McLaughlin with the assist. Now McLaughlin really saying that this one is a put up a good, a good pass on it. He does have a good connection in there and got a great look at it to take the ball. Now the timeout's been called by the Timberwolves as a bucket made by Devin Booker. We're here on the 90 second mark as we have a game on stuff coming for you for game number three as we send you over right now to the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. The Knicks will take on against the Magic at the Garden in New York City. Following along with the next game, as we have the Heat taking on against the Bucks here at 5.30 p.m. here for tonight at the game at Kaseya Center in Miami of Miami-Dade, Florida. Then in the Western Conference, as we go over to the other side, we get this thing off to start things up along the way as the Clippers take on against the ultimate team, Dallas Mavericks. Here at American Airlines Center, that will be at 8, 8.30 p.m. And then finally, we have at 10.30 p.m., it's the Suns, and they're taking on against the Phoenix Sun, uh, against the Wolves at Foot Brent Center in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, this is what we are looking at right in between. The rain is it's like a pretty bad sight, but they may not be looking for anybody who can get them. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not what they always do. I mean, if they play for the Minnesota team, that they, they really got to make sure they get there. They've got to be sure that they have to get more timing. This summer angle is not always a possible L ending to have it all down. New substitutions are on the court. Those right now, a couple players from the Suns are checked in, and a couple players are checked out. Devin Booker, since his all-star game, he only has 26 points and only 6 assists and 4 of his rebound. You know, possibilities are endless for him. He's not going to keep on quitting this time. Devin Booker has been a really better player to be on with a better looking chain overall rating. He's big. Got to make that one pressure if you can play against him. The three for Alexander Walker. Now we'll start it in the range here for Alexander Walker. He has his first three quarter of the night. He is going right in between. And Alexander Walker, are you kidding me? That is like a takeoff ten. McLaughlin against Booker will take his time. The two quarter misses again. You know, it's not what he has really been sticking in for. He's sticking in from the landing here, but it's not what they always bet on. They just really make sure that they got to get some more open looking offense and they need to get this one tight one in. Six on the shot clock. Down again to McLaughlin. He shoots for Gordon. The first one for McLaughlin is no good. Here's Booker. Face on against McLaughlin. McLaughlin, Booker up with a two is good. With 33 seconds left to go is a 24-15 game. McLaughlin tried to feel it out a little bit. Now he finds it with Alexander Walker. Swings again. Now finds McLaughlin. McLaughlin trying to work his way through, trying to go back to Morris. Monte Morris right in between the screen, watching him. Right between. Here's Morris. The three pointer misses wide. Devin Booker with an hour rebound with five seconds. Booker, will he get a buzz meter and a time? It's tipped in, but we have to look at the replay again. Hmm, that's going to be a little tough on the call. I think Booker must have got a late, but let's see what they call for. Now we check over to replay center. What's your take here, Paintbrush? Well, I must say that Devin Booker was able to do one of his take. It looks like that shot is not going to be in there in time. I think he was only got there in close shape. So yeah, I think that bucket is going to count in that point. Yeah, see that? Because he doesn't have a hand on the ball. They're going to count as successful. So after that one, it's a 24-17 game. Well, that was pretty close in the call. They're definitely going for it anyway. We come to the end of our first quarter of the period. Wolves on top with 24-17. We'll get to you right to the second quarter, right after this break. You're watching the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. 
Welcome back to Target Center as you're all tuning in for the second period. We've got that one coming underway to get things started. Now it's a close game in between. It's a 24-14 to 17 game. This is not really easy of what they are going through. Well, just in case that they really done their well, the performance of this effort is, is coming to be a lot better more than challenging. I wouldn't say that they would be able to be leaving out alone if they would be here. But sometimes, however, I've got a great of a harder impact that they are going to get through it. Well, you may be thinking of what they're going to do. Well, they're going to just try to show them off while they can. Edwards, start things off. Over Allen, and it's good. Anthony Edwards with his first bucket. The range start things off for Anthony Edwards in the second period of the game of the quarter. It is a 26-17 game. The shot for Durant makes it in. He makes it number two pointer. Now here's Carly, who will have his time. Now give it over again to Towns. Towns around Durant. What is Ryan? Hey. And it's Towns with six buckets. You know, Towns is coming in right now. He's just really racing his way towards in there to the, the drive in the center of the zone. But that is no joke because that one takes over his time. And that angle is just not always going to be easy enough if they can get that one through. After a direct drive in the dunk, here's Alexander Walker. Walker trying to find again to Conley. Conley now swings again to Edwards. Edwards tries to make his way down, now finding over again. Back to the outside, Alexander Walker. Over to Cat. Over with Durant. And another shot makes it in. That's Cat. Cat gets eight points in this game. Phoenix trailed by nine. Worth Bradley Beal. Holding on it. Watching the side, and the first foul is called on Rudy Gobert. That'll be the first team foul for Minnesota with 6 3 1 to go. Now you never expected what happened already because Bradley Beal was trying to make the cut in because that is not where you're supposed to take the timeout. You know, that's going to be a lot of hard and then take a face whack. I mean, you don't want that one to get dealt for it. First trip to the free throw line will be the Phoenix Suns with only under when they're in the 630 mark they're trying to get that one back in here back down by seven Bradley Beal is the first free throw with some new substitutions as Jaden McDaniels will be checking in for, for Alexander Walker as Anthony Edwards moves over to the shooting guard position now, you say because Bradley Beal, after playing with the Washington Wizards, you always could definitely tell that one is uh, like a harder on a career, but that must be a change off if you can try to like leave that one all alone. Because that won't be the change off if he gets this thing done. He makes a second free throw. I'll say now, Bradley Beal is definitely a great guy. Here in front of Phoenix Suns, got to keep on going. Here's Conley, he's starting things off here to McDaniels. McDaniels trying to make his way in, give a back pass over to get it Edwards. Edwards, racing towards, now finding again to McDaniels. The bounce pass, puts it in for Towns. Towns, gives it again, ball's deflected, holds it on. Conley, shoots over Booker. That shot doesn't go in there that time as he gets on the rebound. Well, it's not going to get up that point because that's what happens to Mike Conley. He got a little bit of crack out of it, didn't get there through. Here's a grass break inside the zone, and Rudy Gobert finishes off the draw. What a pass by Mike Conley. Rudy Gobert finally got his first bucket. Well, that's what they say because the pass one is coming in right now. I just really say that this one is a tight one to beat here. Bradley Beal watching the screen on Nurkic. Watching here. That one misses. Trying to move out of the zone. The screen for Nurkic puts over Allen, and it's denied by Rudy Gobert. What a takedown! And that one turns it over. Enough for Phoenix Ball Suns as they will have their possession. Let's have a look in between as we have a look of Rudy Gobert. He's currently stuck in fourth place behind Giannis Antetokounmpo with only 13. You know, the, the grabbing of this rebound is not always a day, but you can definitely just have that one in between. And this one really has to be Rudy Gobert's, but they field goal range and they're trying to attempt that shot it was really like a hard one to take not really for everybody but they're really all into it now the pass now finds Conley here's a three for McDaniels three pointer can't hit to go we're down to five minutes remaining in the first half of the year first half and a quarter 
gives it off to the go moment, and the foul is called on Anthony Edwards. That's his first personal foul, and Beals at the free throw line for his second trip. Beal has been able to do for a lot of his accomplishment. He has been going right from it, from inside out. And let me say for this guy, because he is never going to slow it down. He's never going to make it quit out there because that is a hard one to take. And you know, Bradley Beal does have it all. He's got pretty well at it for sure. He makes it work first, but he doesn't make the second. Oh, a tough table is not getting well at that point. Might have to just try to like fix something else if he gets there. It may not be what they're looking for, but you know, what they were saying is not really what they want. Gat gives again to Conley. Gives again to McDaniels. Who on the shot clock to finish the drive and takes it in. Judy McDaniels with 13. Under four period left to go in the first half of the big quarter and a timeout's call by Phoenix Suns. Now they're really talking it through it. They really are putting up a show to start things off in the first half. What smoke out this is. Turn like they're all been turning it. Let's have them handle it. Yeah, pretty much the same now. I mean, they're all just shouting it out. Just don't let them leave the mark out of it. They can. Timeout call by Phoenix Suns with under 4.30 to go. In just a few minutes, we'll send you over to Ernie Johnson, being a Jet Smith and Shaq for the halftime show. As you have a great look of the first half of statistics and the scores ability, to have that one coming in. It's great to have that one with the offense, but this won't be a lot to take in for every step along the way. This might be what their day is. You may never know what comes in if they can get that one straight down. You'll find out for sure if they can get it through. The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live life without it. Sour Patch Kids. Sweet, sour, gone. And by the local key dealers. Mormon Fed's Finders. New substitutions on the court as we look at the side for Jason Hurricane. In all three games here, the rebounds is only the sixth place to be here, but the blocks didn't seem like he was going to take that all of his time. You know the upper this? Because it takes all of them to go for down. Booker, what a shot made here. That's another two pointer for the Suns. Well, he's been crushing it out. I mean, Devin Booker can't slow him down. Now he's a take. Toss pass to Tats. Tats gets again to McDaniels. McDaniels for the free throw. They'll guard it back. Now it's Conley in the wing. The bounce pass. Rudy Gobert trying to be over no QP spot. That will be his first personal. And their first team foul calls on the Phoenix Suns. You know, Rudy Gobert is not always that impossible with the tank. But if you ever took the rebound in there, that almost would have been rejected out. But that one did change in everything because that one was not the way it goes for Nurkic as he's trying to take his contact. It doesn't work for him. You never get away with that to go with the number win. Got to make sure you go with a Gobert look to go for a drive. He hits the first free throw. Talk about that one here as for the Timberwolves. He's been one of the players that previously played here for the Utah Jazz before he was moved over to Minnesota. As for one of them, he represents the French national teams that was been playing in for the center position. He was ultimately one of his best ones in part of a career. And the last one that was happened is Cholette before heading into the NBA draft. 
you know, every part of the game does happen now because Rudy Gobert is definitely like a big guy. I mean, talk about it. If there's a bear swap, I'll say get a wolf swap. It's a swap out for the wolf, the big man in the center. Might be seeing what he could do if he could try to do this one again. And speaking of this one here, we do have a new update here for another look here for the for the Timberwolves and for the Suns. Let's go players and check out. And come back in will be Eric Gordon. Checking in for Devin Booker. Big Jenkins finds a pass to Towns. Towns trying to work it over. Give the pass again to Conley. Five on the shot clock. They need to get this one time down. Three for McDaniels. That one's off the rim, and it's rebounded by Beal. Beal's never going to get that one in there because that's a hard thing that he is trying to get that one in for a right timing. You know, the angle doesn't improve at all because that one is a hard one to take. And wow, what a dunk here. That's for Grayson Allen. He just finally made that throw down after Beal with the assist. Here's another take for Anthony Edwards. Edwards trying to slow it down a little bit. Finally getting the Cat on a drive. What a take. The Cat with 10 points. 38 28 to score. And it's Conley with the assist. Now that's what we all call for. Mike Conley. What a rip out. And a shot puts in for Kevin Durant. Here back down by 9. Backing down by 7. Here's Towns. Towns gives again over to McDaniels. Now they're looking for a screen for Gobert. He just makes a stop. No foul has been called on the Wolves here as they still got it clean. Gobert with the two, and it goes in. Gobert's got his third bucket of the night, and we're down to two minutes. I'll say now Gobert can make it easy. Alan McDaniels. He finds a pass to Durant on Towns. We're two minutes remaining as Nurkic picks up the screen. Takes a three. That rolls in and out for the rim as we went right across and back to the bear. Anthony Edwards takes again to Conley. Looks again at McDaniels. McDaniels in the try. That one's just stopped again by Nurkic. Great defensive effort here for the Suns as they pick up another rebound. Allen misses again. Carl Anthony Towns with four rebounds as we were passing the 90 second mark. Here's Conley to finish the drive and it goes in. Mike Conley with eight points in this game and he has got seven assists in this game. Well, you always say now because Mike Conley really wants to make the assist on come bumping in. But I get that he's been like pushing in so far. What a, what a playmaking you take. After that shot, Kevin Durant looks like he wants more. Conley finds the pass to Towns. Now he gives it over to get to Edwards. Edwards gives it again to Conley. Conley with the two. That rolls in and out as Durant picks up the rebound. Bradley Beal against Anthony Edwards. The screen puts up an alley. Watching in. Bradley Beal looks to Nurkic, and he takes a dunk down. After Durant with the assist, as Bradley Beal had the assist. Well, that was happened before once it was bringing put it in there. That looks like he got a quick pass right away. Anthony Edwards for three, and he does it. Takes it from the outside as he has five points. Well, you can say the fire of Anthony Edwards picks a wall pack to extend it. The clock winds down. Bradley Beal wants to give one more shot. Will you take it in? Shoots it up. And it goes in. Wow. Just as time comes down, it's a 45-37 game. Well, you make the buzz beater, you get that one done, you've done it all. We've just come to a close game. Let's send you down to David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much, Carl. Impressive start for you. What's the mentality going into a game like this? Uh, just being aggressive. Uh, really great, but... Very good well at all the first half myself. We're missing all of us are missing a lot of easy buddies. We're missing layups for us as pros. So uh, second half when we make those layups, uh, it should be fun. We'll see if you stick to the script. Thanks very much, man. Back to you. 
All right, David, thank you so much. And we are, we'll be right back with the third quarter, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right with you after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Bernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. It was all about Minnesota as the game got going. They had intensity in their eyes and fire in their bellies as they started things out on a 7 nothing run. Most of their well-earned lead evaporated, though, as they ended up with just a two-point lead at the end of one. In quarter number two, they fought off several attempted rallies and actually pulled further out the front, ending the half up by eight. And Shaq, what do you think about what we saw from Minnesota? They're running the offense beautifully this one. What are the good looks? How does it look, Scott? How does it look, Scott? How does it look, Scott? How does it look, Kenny, your take on Phoenix. Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the perimeter. They wouldn't put a hand up, as my man used to say, hand down, man down. Oh, we gotta get him some help. That pretty much covers everything. Shot. Right? You think they played their best? No way, no way. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And as you get this thing started for the third quarter, we got the same cover down in Minnesota. Close game so far, as Kevin Booker has already made out with his two point of his late attack events that he has been ever picked off. He only has 15 points and two rebounds and only one assist. That's only turned out to be for one. Yeah, Devin Booker may be a one-timer that you're going to like, keep an eye on him for sure, but it may not be what you're looking for because that might be a change up for anybody. As we start things off here for the third quarter, all feeling set to go. Anthony Edwards on Bradley Beal, Vince Colbert on Nurkic, the cap on Kevin Durant, Grayson Allen on McDaniels, and finally, it, it all comes in, Mike Conley on Devin Booker. Start for the two, Anthony Edwards takes it in. Two points in this game, and he has seven. Now that's why I say of Anthony Edwards, he's been really like a dominating pressure. Don't have to tell him why not. Bradley Beal on Anthony Edwards, takes a spin. Good defensive effort as he picks it up by Booker. Five seconds to shoot. The screen, drives up third two. That rolls in and out. Cat got his fifth rebound and now will take over to McDaniels to take the arc, dial bucket one. That was excellent. As the Allen has picked up his foul, and it will count the bucket in for Jaden McDaniels. Now, I would see what you, darling. You're telling us now that Jaden McDaniels does it again. He is a perfect machine flying in the zone. You're never going to find that one out here. But Jaden McDaniels has gotten pretty good. He's at the free throw line, shooting one, which is only 7 or 2 to go in the What's third up? quarter of the game. Number team foul for the Phoenix Suns, as this one will count for the number bucket in, as McDaniels will have one more to set up. He misses the free throw, and he only takes it off. He has 15. And now Allen, give off to Durant. Durant, try to give off to Booker. Booker again to her game. Gobert with the block, blocking pass, rebounded up by Durant. Screen on her kick with the two. That rolls in and out. Never rebound for Rudy Gobert as he has the spin. Here's Conley deciding to give up to Gobert to finish the drive and he does it again. Rudy Gobert has got eight points and an assistant goes back to Mike Conley. Well, Mike Conley's already been like passing everywhere and I mean, the aggressive player is. This offense is nowhere to be out, and that one would really take out for his lineup defensively. He's been really like pushing his way through. He only has eight assists to this game, but now for long, let's see if he gets ten. McDaniels finds the pass to Gobert. Gobert on the layup. That misses again. Nurkic's got another rebound here, as they only have 44.3. For tonight so far in game two. And the number one for Durant takes it in. They're back down by 10 to cut the lead digits. 
there. Really what happens now, for Kevin Durant, he's been like setting up his floor, and this really has to like change that one everywhere, but they can't be leaving that one for a mark at all time. They really need to get this one right away to go with a shot, and go right from digit number in. They'll give it back, give it back to McDaniels again to Conley. He now finds it over to Ed P. Edwards. Gives a pass over to Gobert. Gobert to finish the try, and good. That makes it in, as Gobert's got 10. They're on fire right now as they extend it up by 12. Now, when they say Rudy Gobert, you're going to have to fire it out to make the try. Timeout call by Phoenix Suns with only 5.09 to go in the third period quarter. As we get the same, they all have to talk things over right away. And what do you know from Rudy Gobert? He might have it all when he can get. Yes, the same for now. Clearly for less, you'll see what you can definitely get there. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T. Connecting changes everything. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Adidas. We do have an update for you. Aubrey tickets for the BFDI and the NBA Tour have been sold out. So if you're in the uh, part of each state, unfortunately for now, the time is already up for one of each states. The one in New York's already sold out. The one in, you called it, Houston, Texas is sold out. Sold out. And the one in Seattle is also sold out too, with the VIP and the general tickets. So there's only two more sections left in Fort Lauderdale and, uh, and Illinois, Chicago. So if you got your tickets here, get on down before it's gone. There's still a lot, a lot, a lot of time left in between, but you'll see when it goes. You'll be sticking in here for the next part of the, of the year to enjoy the moment. This will be every part of the episode that you will be keeping your eyes on for the first half of the new episode of BFDI TBOT, the quarter back half of the BFDIA every year of the part of the month, only from each section from, from the uh, first three to the bottom three, right in between of the tour. So that will be only on in Anime Sandy and the BFDI also. And yes, season two is back you can also watch it anytime here on the playlist as well. Head over into Animation Epic and subscribe. Thanks for everyone who's subscribing. They've reached 500,000 subscribers. Yeah, I can't wait to hear that one here. I mean, <laughs> well done for you, Adam. As he makes the first free throw for Royce O'Neal, he will take one more. After a foul called on Minnesota, with under five minutes. And he hits the second free throw. Here's McLaughlin. We'll give off to McDaniels. McDaniels gives it again to McLaughlin. Now one to make some new changes off in between. Only has one assist in the game. Got four to two. And takes it in. Great assist here by McLaughlin. Brown's got 12 points in this game. And he has number two. Well, that's what happens now. James McLaughlin just got to keep on going. He's really up for the challenge. Two-pointer for Brooker. This is again. Up again. And that one takes it in for Eubanks. He's got his first bucket. Nearing down the mark here with a 55-44 game. We're just, under, we're just uh, under now coming into four minutes. The bounce pass finds to Gobert. Gobert swings the pass to Towns. Towns gives again to McLaughlin. McLaughlin finding in the middle. He finds Gobert with the drive, and it's good takeover for Drew Lubanks. He's got his first rebound now given off again to Durant. Almost lost the ball. Three pointer for Okoji. Another miss by Phoenix Suns. Well, they're shooting not really well, perfect out there, but he's not going to keep on going because they really got to find someone help. They're just losing everywhere with the three pointers. That's going to be a hard one to take. McDaniels finds again to Towns. Fades a shot. Finding it to Edwards. Edwards for the two. 
that misses again from the other way. Well, uh, he's definitely not going to be uh, able to be easy enough. If this is not turning out to be great, I don't know what it is, but this is not what it's it meant to be. And they've got to get over next. The timeout called by Minnesota Wolves with only 3.05 left to go in the third quarter. They're trying to get this one down in, and they are closing the game up just with seven. Down by nine. And now they want to find out what they can do to try to stop their play advantage to keep on scoring for Minnesota. Three players are checked off the court as now Koji will bring Royce O'Neill and Eric Gordon back on the court. All five players are checking in and checking out will be Morris, Alexander Walker, Anderson, and Reed. Here's Morris. We'll now swing off to Reed. Reed tries to go inside. That one's got a great stop here for Drew Ubanks. Well, they're losing pressure right now. I mean, they cannot let them go. They need to get this one down and out of the way. Now Rubanks gives it in to Royce O'Neal. Good ball movement for the Phoenix Suns. Bradley Beal trying to go over Alexander Walker. Takes the rebound. Royce O'Neal for two. And that misses again for Phoenix Suns. Here's another take for Aaron Glockland. Glockland gives it in to Alexander Walker to finish the drive. And that one got a piece of it here as Royce O'Neal has it back. We've got the two minutes remaining in the third quarter of the game. Now Booker trying to take the three. It's missed again. Ubex trying to pull it back in. Layup. Off the angle. Trying to hold on. Royce O'Neal's got it in the wing. The screen puts it in. What a shot. Three. Trying to battle it. And this one sticks out as Anderson's got a piece of it. He finally got that ball back, but didn't take the rebound. Well, what happened is that really it's going to take a lot of fighting crucial in between here. There's a lot of marathon to take in for the rebounds. I don't know what's going on, but maybe they may never know what they can get that one to leave it out the gap. Three for Morris. That three-pointer misses again. Now they're starting to go downward, and this is not what it's doing. They, they're trying missing everywhere. They do not want to let them live alone. We'll go on the outside, doubled up by Monte Morris. Screen for Ubanks. Try to hold in for the three. And it goes with another miss, and goes no backcourt violation. Booker. Looking around on the floor, trying to look for another scoring attackers. Here's a Koji. Four seconds to shoot. They need to get there. And a three-pointer. Oh, Ubanks had that one in. Now that's what they don't usually do. You don't see the paint. You don't see when the guy comes in the center and trying to take the dunk down of it. He just goes with, hey, it's a ceiling. That's what happens here for Drew Ubanks. He's got it covered. And Monte Morris finally got that bucket big to try. Oh, and that's finally a good uh, drive in, and that's what he does. He makes a finish out there, a great cut. 57 to 48 to score with 30 seconds. Screen for Ubix. Tries to cut in for the paint. And that sweet spot of it doesn't take here. Alexander Walker has got his first rebound with 120 seconds. Now he has everybody to get a read. Read. He has it off. Monte Morris finds McLaughlin. Six on the shot clock. Alexander Walker. Great ball move in for Minnesota. Four to two. And that will end here for the third quarter. 57-48 to score. They are on top of it now, but the battle reach keeps on happening. Will the Suns get a close game? Or will this be the end for it for game two as they tie the series? It's all coming up right here on 2K Sports of the NBA Playoffs. Let's find out who wins and who dies. And we have a moment now to reveal your State Farm Assist of the Game. Now here's a take of my choice out there. I would really love that this one turns to be good. But here's the hustle. The catch of the face is not really what you're seeing here for Cat. 
But that's what the Daniels had to make the drive out of it go impressive. The sight of it is for Cat. He does it all when he can. He never quits, he never gets up, and he just finally makes his way down. We hope you enjoyed part of your third quarter. Now we come down to the final quarter. As the last take here, as Reed is on her kicks, Ben is Bradley Beal on Anthony Edwards. Following along here is, Con is Conley on Durant, then Booker on Cat, and finally, in the center of it, calls for a good one, McDaniels on out. He's a McDaniels. Watching the ankle breaker, but he didn't really think he wants to do that. Reed, who's again, now finds Conley. Conley tries to get up there to shoot again, and now one misses the target. Solid performance effort here for Grayson Allen, and this ball is almost loose, and it's taken over. Here he comes, Reed on the fast break down to the finish the drop. Reed's got his first bucket. And they have the extension, 59 to 48. Now they say now that Norman Reed may have that one feeling, but you may never get up that impossible takeover. Allen trying to battle it. Booker on the outside. It's down to six. Booker slides over Conley, and he does it again. Devin Booker with another two as they're back, back down by nine. Scoring drafts are in between the scoring leaders of Booker and McDaniels, but that one is nowhere going to take off this timing angle. I know he's definitely doing it, but let's say this, he has to find another way to get that shot down. McDaniels for two, and we'll tie this up with Devin Booker with 17. <laughs> Here's Booker, we'll try to have it off. It's a pass, field for three. And it goes in, this one comes back down, a 61-53 game. They are just rocking it in now. And they really want to like slow it down what they can get to get a close game. Well, it's a piece of that one here. They really are trying to get that one off to a close start, but that angle won't slow them down if you get there for it. McDaniels for two. And he does it again. Number two for McDaniels. He has that point leadoff score over Booker. Now that's what I was saying, Jaden McDaniels really must have had that one coming in there, but that one won't pay him off if he shows him up how he does. Allen in the corner near the baseline, screen for Merkic, finds another one, looks to pass to Merkic, up with the shot, and that one takes away as Reed will have it. Give off to McDaniels, ball moving again to Conley. Conley tries to roll around in there, trying to look for some open hand passes. Now he finds Norman Reed. Six on the shot clock. Gives again to McDaniels. Over again to Booker. Over Allen is good. He has 21. Now that's what happens now because Gina McDaniels keeps on going. He's on lit. Grayson Allen with the screen. Booker for two. It's another miss here by Phoenix Suns. It's holding by Gene McDaniels. Great lockdown effort miss, and he's got his fifth rebound. Well, that's when he takes care of it. That's a lot of big deal or no deal. Edwards. Finding the pass over. Over Beal. Made the shot. Three for Reed. Starting off with a three, no good. And Booker. Back to your way. Trying to get him out to drive it in. The rebound puts up for Beal, and Beal will have it in. 65 to 55 to score. They are trailing back down by 10. And Edwards, 4-10 to go. Now give it back over to McDaniels. Reed will try to fix something new. And Anthony Edwards wanting to make a new change up. Looking for motion. To McDaniels, for number two. Misses again. Great time effort, but it didn't go in the net. Well, that's what he was doing now because only the first half has gotten pretty good, solid start, but the second half didn't really bite the dust here. He must have had that one here coming out, but that wasn't he, until the case if he has that one solved in there. He's got to make sure he gets it down. Oh, and the hard contact foul puts it up here on Nas Reed. That's his first whistle and a first team foul for Minnesota. Yeah, the heart attack is not going to get up a while easily enough because Grayson Allen is trying to get that free throws and they're looking back over it again.
to go down by eight. They have a free throw coming up here for the Phoenix Suns with only 3.31 left to go in the fourth quarter. He makes the first free throw. To say for now that Grayson Allen definitely had that one here coming down. He's also played here for Duke University but it's ultimately he has been playing it for so long, since 2015, with their help of winning a national championship for the men's Final Four. And this one happened to be one of the occasionally that was in between the New Orleans. Yeah, they're really saying now because that is a great way to do this one on their attack. When they definitely dig it all, he's been lifting it up on his way through, and he's been a great guy. That pressure is in there because they won the the part of the men's, men's divisional series and the national championship. He's definitely one of the best players in the Mason stand. Of all the crowd enjoyment and improvement that they've done. Here's a two and around. Edwards goes in. He's got nine points. And they're up to take over to look for another scoring over Bradley Beal. The final time, next time out call by Phoenix Suns with only 3 or one to go. Now what they said is, they don't let the crowd just stand there, they let the crowd go to a wolf on the howl town. That's what they all say is because that wolf never shows him off, but that's what you always do. Feel it where you can. Crunch time! The NBA Playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by... Starry Lines. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by Chips Ahoy. Here for a copy. Cookie tastes good. As we now roll over to your new balance player to get, Jaden McDaniels. When you say Jaden McDaniels has it all of them, he has that one year for a lot of great percentage out there on the court. He's been really like a, a pressure on in between of the zone attackers. They're really helpful to make him cheer on. Yeah, Jaden McDaniels really has all that one coming in there, trying to clutch in the playoff. The time this scoring ring comes in for Jaden McDaniels as he's looking for another way to get in through to beat their team in for the first round and get to the second if he scores more. We have a report for David Aldrich as Chris Finch, Jaden McDaniels has been really been popping in now. He's really all for everybody's sake as he goes for Well, you know what happened because Jaden McDaniels really has to get that one all covered in. Mr. Mount won't stop him if he does more on his work routine. That's what happens with that because Chris Finch has to train him hard to get back into the action. Conley now finds Edwards. Now he rolls it over again to McDaniels. Use a take. Three for Edwards. Triple range good. Edwards has 12 points and McDaniels with the assist. They're showing a lot of repetition here. They are giving us a lot of great fans. They're letting them destroy everyone to go in between. Yo for two. That misses another one as Carl Anthony Towns got a six rebound of the night. Now he has to begin with Anthony Edwards. Edwards swings a pass to Bobea. Bobea trying to roll it over. He's again to McDaniels. With just two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the game, here's Bobea. Gives up the two. And he misses again. Devin Booker with another rebound now trying to look for it. To cut for the attack. Trying to look over it. To go cut the digit down by nine. Go around for two. It's good. They're back down by nine. 70 to 61 is a score. They're trying to get a close game in between. Mike Conley with the ball. Now he finds again to Anthony Edwards. Edwards gives the pass to Gobert. Now has it over to Conley. Conley for two. And he makes it in. Conley has another two point range and he gets 10. And it's Gobert with the assist. Now you say what I'm saying because if Gobert has it in with the assist, you made that one clear, you go down. With a two on a shot. It's missed, but it's no kick with the rebound. Looks like they're going to have to call some time out here because there's a lot of defensive breakdown. Yeah, I must say now because they really aren't going to show him up. He needs a lot of help here and he can't let that one leave off. 
We nearing down under 90 seconds to remain in the fourth quarter as another new changeup will be underway. Now, they really are not going to like try to let them go out because their attackers are really going to be like a hard one to take. Now, they never know what's going to happen. You have to find out what you play for and this may not be what you are looking at. If you get it done, you get it straight, you have it all played, contact play in physical form. That's what they really need to do to let them leave off their way behind. Now with some new substitutions on the court as it backs down to a starting group. And McDaniels will have it over it again, right to Edwards. Edwards, trying to roll his way down to McDaniels. He finds Gobert, trying to beat over Nurkic. And then two, it doesn't go in there. He's having a hard time right now for Rudy Gobert. He has to make sure he gets this one right away. Straight. Another miss by Phoenix Suns. Cat's got a seven free bound. We've nearing down last minute to remain. Now here's a chance for Conley. For two, it's good. 12 points for Mike Conley. And they are on fire. Well, the fans are showing off their support. They're going to love it. They're going to live it. Let's bring it on, UK. Booker misses again. Towns gets eight rebounds, and this one will wind down the clock. That one's stolen by Royce O'Neal. Royce O'Neal gives it off to Booker. Booker to go in the attack. The layup is unplugged, and it's taken over by Anthony Edwards. After a steal, denied by Gobert. have to juice that clock down, they will have to score it, they will end it off here with just down to last seconds for the Wolves. While saying goodbye so far, and now they're ready to hit the road and go back to Phoenix, because they really have been showing off, it's a crazy one to take. And that will end here for the Timberwolves, last possession for the Phoenix Suns. Final, final exchange off here for the Suns and for the Wolves, as the three players are checked off the court. Gordon, Okoji, and Newbanks are checked in. And for the Suns to the Wolves, four players are checked out and four players checked in. Gordon will finish up here. There you have it, folks. That ends the final game. 74 to 63 is their final score. What a night. You know what they say? It's all tied up. We're going to find out who takes the lead next. It's great enough to have it. Fearing the Wolves comes in handy. And now we send you over to David Aldridge for a courtside player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much. Rudy, your impact on the game defensively, always something to watch. What's your approach at that end? Just how to win games, you know, and uh, my teammates were out trusting me, being aggressive on balls, and trying to be aggressive on the rim. And you know, when we play as a team, like we do tonight, it's tough to beat us. So you were in full stifle tower mode tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. Okay, David, thank you so much. And that's going to wrap it up for the final game. With Boomer, along with Paintbrush and Lightbulb, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports. And all the rest of our crew, thanks for watching. We'll see you, we'll see you next time. Have a great evening, everyone. All right, Boomer, thank you so much. As this one part of the game, it's the tie series between the Wolves and the Suns. They are all fueled in, pressurized, and they're back in again. Yeah, definitely a true right, and they can definitely lead that one to an off-angle and the balance board. Here's how they do with the total statistics. 58 and 46 for the three-pointers and field goal range for Minnesota. Only free throws was 75 for the Phoenix Suns. 6 and 30 was fast break and points in paint for the Wolves. But the second chance points and bench points turned the other way for the Phoenix Suns. Nice attempt here for the assist here for 31 for the Wolves. 14 offensive rebounds for the Suns and only 27 defensive rebounds for the Wolves. Two steals were even. Three blocks was performed for the Minnesota Wolves. With three turnovers, three team fouls, and five dunks was performed. But the foul has been already lifted up here too before the dunks came. Then the biggest lead was 14, and time possession was 17.55. Only two timeouts remaining for Phoenix Suns, but they decided not to need it. Well, that's it for now. I mean, that's the end of the last game in Game 2. Now it's time to present your three-star players of the game. Take it away, Woodsbury.
All right, thank you so much. Time for three stars. Well, we've got to start things off from here, as this one is not quite easy enough, but, as I mentioned before, Bradley Beer, with 12 of them, didn't get to the top, but Kevin Durant did. 13 points, two rebounds, one assist, and six out of nine field goal lines. Only one three-pointer and three three-pointers would turn to be a terrific stop. Only one dunk and 15 performance effort. It has to be one of them that can change it all in just the way you got. Number two is Devin Booker. 19 points, four rebounds, four assists, one steal. Only got a 923 field goal range, only one and four three pointers from the first and second half. Valley was 28 performances of the upper. Has gotten pretty, really, really hard, but that one won't change the effect for him if he does more. And your number one star, the Wolves. You have it all the time in here because you found out who goes in for the world you bring out to be. You're a New Balance player of the guy. All has to be your eyes on to keep on and your world may never increase. Jaden McDaniels, 21 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 10 out of 16 field goal range has been terrific and perfectionary to go right in between from in, inward in the court and outside of the range for three pointers, one three pointer and four four three pointers. And this one turned to be the 31 performance effort. What a great guy for the Wolves. And he'll be wrapping things up and ready to head on down to Phoenix for a 1030 guy in Arizona. And yes, they definitely did. I mean, this is what's going on. I mean, they're going to be wrapping it up here. They're going to get that one straight away. Oh, yes, they do. <laughs> Let's get this one a credit to give them a score run. And that will do it, in, folks. Thanks for joining us here for game two of day number two. As we will have things wrapped up in shortly, as we will get you back to hockey and then back to basketball. That's right out at this point. Thursday night game will be happen to be in game three, as this time will be one more chance, as we'll give it to you one more look in between. As we've got the Knicks and Magic at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Following along with the next game of the Bucks and Heat at Kaseya Center in Miami, Florida. Then, following along with the part of the next game in the Western Conference is the Mavericks and the Clippers at American Airlines Center in Texas. And finally, the Suns versus against the other team of the Wolves at Footprint Center. Following along with that next game, as we get you to the other side of it, we start with the Western Conference first. We've got your next one here that's coming in there for you. That will be the Pelicans taking on against the OKC Funders at Smoothie King Center. Following along with the next game, as this will be another take for anybody, as we will have the next game back in the Eastern Conference, as we have the Pacers facing against the Cavaliers at Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. And then tonight's game will be the Celtics versus the Sixers, another rival team, back at Philadelphia in Wells Fargo Center. And finally, the 10-30 game is the Nuggets and the Warriors at, you all called it, Chase Center in San Francisco, the Golden State in California. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this part of the game. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. We'll have tons of more post seasons, reactions, and definitely, of course, some trips that you won't believe on. And some top rankings. Stay tuned for the Anime Sanity Invitational's top from worst to best. You'll see what happens when it comes out. Yeah, don't even be afraid enough, though. There are no spoiler alerts. Don't give that disclaimer to anybody. And no, uh, I won't be able to do that. Thank you for so much for joining with us, and peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports style. This is Son of Beast on Wood Spoonie, signing you out. See you next time, folks. Goodbye, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.